Unbelievable. Reports coming in at the moment, if true, is really, really a shocking one and unbelievable. Reports has it that the UK has withdrawn the asylum policy for IPOB and MASOB members. The news says, after being reprimanded by the federal government of Nigeria, the UK has withdrawn her asylum policy given to the pro biafra groups, including the indigenous people of Biafra and the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. Asylum is the protection given by a country to a person that runs out from his or her country as a political refugee. The British government has pulled down a notice it published regarding its asylum policy concerning separatists from Biafran groups, including the indigenous people of Biafra and the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, popularly known as Masob. This is coming after the federal government of Nigeria condemned the act from the UK government for giving the groups asylum. The Nigerian Minister of Information and Culture, al Lai Mohammed, says that the plan is disrespectful to Nigeria as a country. The new guideline, United Kingdom Visa and Immigration Release to the UK Parliament on how to grant asylum application to members of IPOP and the Masob made the former British colony to feel insulted. Well, guys, it is what it is. If this is true, then it is really, really unfortunate. It tells you that this is a government that will kill every little hope or every ray of light of hope that the country or the citizens would ever want to get and embrace. It is sad and unfortunate, honestly speaking. What would have imagined that what exactly is behind these steps that the government is taking? What exactly are they looking at? What are they looking to achieve, to do, and all that? Considering the fact that what they are seeing, or what they are doing, or what they are actually working with is just to frustrate the people or the citizens of the country. So to what end is this um, rejection or refusal of asylum to the people? To what end is the question we need to ask ourselves? I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but basically, what does the federal government stand to you know, um, gain from squandering this opportunity for people who feel that they need to travel or relocate, as the case may be. Do they want to continue to persecute people and kill people, especially those in the Southeast, as we already have it been reported across various medias and social medias that secret war is actually going on in the Southeast where youths have been abducted and secretly, you know, moved into a hiding in an unknown destination some of them have been reportedly killed, but the federal government does not seem to um, be interested in this. Why? Because there is an agenda, or because probably they are the ones behind the actions. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but be that as it were, it probably might just look like, like it or look seem like it. The question is that to what end? And if it is true that the UK government has pulled it down, the question also goes to the UK government. Why did they decide to pull it down? What could have gone wrong? Why do they feel insulted? Why should they feel insulted? They, don't, they are not supposed to feel insulted. If truly they are carrying out this particular um, project in good faith, then why should they feel insulted? Are they being controlled by the Nigerian government? Don't they have a mind on, of their own? Why are they jittery? Why are they feeling um, the way they are feeling? 
you know, these are many more questions that we need to ask ourselves. And, uh, you know, it is just sad and unfortunate. But it is what it is. What, it is even, it is, it's not a big deal, though. IPOP, as it were, had even turned down the asylum as they rejected it, saying that what they want is referendum instead of running away from their country. So if they cannot uh, run away, if they cannot get what they want, they are not willing to leave their country. So if, you know, rejecting the asylum means that they are ready to face what it is or what face their fears, and which is the Nigerian government who has been against their moves, against what they want, against, you know, all their plans. And one would imagine, why would the Nigerian government stop them? Why would the Nigerian government work against them? Everything happening in the country today has not in any way benefited the citizens. It has only benefited those few who are billionaires, millionaires, and who are reaping of the younger ones. So the government, as it were, does not seem to be interested in these people. So it is only uh, unfortunate, but be that as it were, the call for, for agitation and agitation for Biafra or the Dua Republic has continued to intensify. It shows the resolve of these people to get what they want by any means possible. The question is, can the government stop them just like they stopped the United Kingdom from offering asylum to persecuted IPOB members? Well. We keep our fingers crossed to see how it eventually turns out. But to a very large extent, it does not seem to be the best. Nigerian government does not want the UK to grant IPOB members asylum because they want to continue to, uh, to um, persecute the people, kill people, intimidate them, and all what they probably feel that they can do to change their the mindset of the people. But they are not bulging as it is, and they seem to be prepared and ready to face whatever consequence that it will be. Well, it is sad and unfortunate, but that is just the situation of things right now as it is. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Drop by at the comment section, guys. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories to your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.